Howdy folks, Alex Glow here for our Friday Night Creature Feature. This week we have a, a new kit from Soracom who provides cellular connectivity to Arduino and beyond for IoT. And uh, this one is sent by our good friend Mohib who uh, has recently started there as a developer evangelist and is doing a bang up job. We will see a cool blog post from him about things you can do with this kit once we've actually got it out of the box. So take a look, or right, let's take a look. Uh, first, uh, check out the Soracom website. It's soracom.io. And uh, at the top, you will see actually a spot to sign up for an upcoming next Friday hack storm. I'll be there along with some friends. We'll be making some things. And so uh, while we'll look at the getting started materials today, that's where you will, uh, be able to watch more in-depth sort of digging into the hardware kinds of things. I'm really stoked for that. So that's next Friday. But for now, let's get this thing open. It's been burning a hole in my desk. Uh, hopefully that will not turn literal anytime soon. But you never know. Okay, let's see. We've got some packaging. <laughs> we have some various other objects. Ooh. This box is unfortunately too large to fit under my camera. Oh, look, it has a personalized letter. It's so nice. So uh, this sort of lists the contents of the kit. Which, let's pull out. Ooh, OK. We have uh, Soracom X IoT starter kit, or Arduino IoT starter kit. So Soracom and Arduino. This includes one of two Arduino de IoT devices. We'll see which one in a minute. They provide narrow band and uh, various types of cellular connectivity. If you're not familiar, narrow band or NB IoT is an oh sucks <laughs> is a new protocol for uh, newish, it's a couple of years old, but for uh, connecting IoT devices wirelessly. Look at this. Okay, so I'm working on a sock puppet robot. <laughs> this is gonna have to go on there because I can't wear enough socks to justify my collection. We have this wonderful tote bag. Oh, lovely. So helpful for uh, keeping my various nefarious tools in. Okay, here is an Arduino Maker Connector Carrier. This is for the new MKR. Newish, I, I still think of things as new when they're a few years old now. I think because time has stalled for the last year. But these M MKR boards have been uh, you know, a new standard for Arduino for a few years now. And this one is the MKR NB1500. There's information on the Soracom website about the different types of Arduino uh, boards that might be included in here. So this one is the NB1500, and then we have this connector carrier board. We've got a nice antenna to go on here. We've got an envelope with the Soracom chip in it, presumably SIM card thingy. Oh yes, and I don't want to show that because it might have some sensitive information. Oh no, it's just stylish. Look at this, it's very nice. And then a couple of stickers, necessary. And what's this? It is the essential starter kit for Storacom. Uh, this is a bunch of Grove sensors. We talk a lot about the Seed Grove kit on this channel because it is a very good way to get started in electronics if you are not super confident with soldering already. Um, there's a lot of, there's a huge amount of material available for getting started with these um, just sort of plug and play Arduino code and also physically, literally plug and play modules because they have, uh, they use these four pin cables that are common to all of the devices. So let's see what's in here. We've got a button, buzzer, temperature and humidity sensor, and a GPS module, a digital accelerometer, a magnetic switch and a read switch, you know, and an ultrasonic distance sensor. So lots of cool stuff in here. And we'll dig into that in a second. I do want to point out that uh, while these seven sensors are included, very generous, at the same time, you can also use, of course, any other Grove modules that you already have. And we'll take a look at more of those in a minute. They have a link to get started, soracom.io slash Grove Kit Essentials. Um, 
yeah, and we'll, we'll take a look at this in a second. First, I want to put together the Arduino parts. So let's break this out. Doot, doot. My tip for the getting these things open is always to push it in first. Like so. Oh, this one doesn't have stickers. Well, like so. <laughs> to disengage the sticker. And then you can sort of peel it open. Hot tip of the week. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Your traditional Arduino stickers. So beautiful as always. Arduino Maker Family. And they tell you more about the different boards you can get. Maker Wi-Fi 1010, Fox 1200, etc. For SigFox. Here is our carrier board for with our spot for the Arduino in the middle. Some screw terminals as well as all these Grove breakouts. That's nice. So you can connect like little motors and things. Oh, this is V in 5 volts, 3.3 volts in ground. Okay, so that's um pretty standard power in and out. And then we have our MKR NB1500. Ooh, come out of there. More stickers, presumably. Oh, no stickers? Oh, no stickers. Wow. Well, you know, I already have like 18 of these. Uh, so we can just admire those and stick those on. Look at their own custom pink, uh, presumably anti ESD shielding bag. That's so cool. Anyway. Let's put these together. I'm going to assume that it goes this way because it looks like the USB port would stick out over there. Let's check a diagram just to be sure. Anyway, you've got this u blocks module that's providing the wireless connectivity and you've got a little antenna connector over here, which is where you'll stick your big paddle antenna. Oh, you've got a lithium polymer battery connector. So you can use uh, rechargeable batteries with this. This looks like a one of the, your new sort of quick slash stemma uh, connectors. It's got five pins. That's interesting. I'll check that out. You've got a charge. Oh, nice charging light. That means that this has a probably a charging circuit for the battery as well. I haven't looked into this um, Arduino in particular. So I'm curious. Uh, this, some of this is new to me. We'll take a look. But yeah, uh, let's, let's attach this. To start with, you've got a micro USB connector on there. I'm sure I have a source for that around. We'll plug it in in a second. For now, let's take a look at more of the online materials. Oh, Mohib said, <laughs> I'm driving and listening to the car. Thank you for the kit, Mohib. Yay. Yuka says, was the antenna included or additional separate component? I believe it comes as part of the kit. Let's take a look. Make this bigger. So here is the uh, IoT starter kit page. And what does it say? You get the you do get the dipole antenna as part of the kit. So you get the Arduino uh, maker NB1500 slash GSM1400. So that's the other option. They both provide the same core functionality with the 1500, this one that I have here, supporting cellular connectivity on CAT M1 and narrowband IoT networks, and the 1400 so supports 2G and 3G connectivity. There's more about that further down, but you can see where the, the SIM card goes in, goes in there. You've got $20 of free credit. It's very nice. Full SIM management ca capabilities right from your browser. And actually, uh, Mohib has been so nice as to already set up an account, which I'm not sure if I should hide my ICC ID or whatever, but I'm sure it's fine, whatever. Um, and let's see. So yeah, they have this uh, SIM management interface that I just sort of gave you a peek of. You get the SIM card, the Arduino, the dipole antennas, antenna, and the sensors essential kit. There's actually two more modules than are listed here. You also get the, um, what is not in, the ultrasonic distance sensor. And uh, I think it's the humidity sensor. So there's two different versions of the kit, and I believe the only difference is which Arduino you get. You can check further down uh, about where it's going to be covered. So there's Cat M1 coverage available in my area. They've got this FAQ at the bottom that sort of covers that. 
How do you program it? You program it with Arduino. If you want to go deeper into what's the difference between these two Arduinos, you can check that out. Is it Arduini? I feel like it should be Arduini, you know, if it's, <laughs> it's plural. Um, more confirmation that you do, in fact, get the antenna there. Uh, <laughs> what will you build? So here is where you find Mohib's wonderful materials, including this blog post about four IoT projects you can build with the Sorocom IoT starter kit. And there's also a link to the GitHub repos, which include lots of code for you, Grove sensor examples, Sorocom cloud examples, and then this beautiful readme. Look at this. Look, it has a table of contents. Oh, my goodness. Uh, linking to all the different ones. Wow. And each of them has its own readme? You're joking. Wow. Uh, I did not look <laughs> into this all the way before starting the video, and I'm just stunned by the quality of this documentation. It's way too good. It's too good. You'd think that they hired someone good for this. <laughs> um, there's also a really nice getting started guide linked from the previous page we were just looking at. And that goes through how to get it all set up, how to set up your Soracom account to start with, how to attach your little SIM card, how to get started with the Arduino IDE and make it recognize the boards that you have. I noticed on the left-hand side, there's also this outline that includes things for a Raspberry Pi kit and a Wii LTE kit and a basic USB modem kit. So all kinds of other options for you as well. It's not just Arduino. However, if you do want to go with Arduino, there's plenty of information here. Now, Harvest, I'm not totally clear yet on the difference between Harvest, the IoT dashboard, and Lagoon, the IoT analytics and data visualization area. <laughs> but uh, this, these are two wonderful tools that you have available to take all that data that you're going to be collecting and turn them into visualizations, notifications, and things like that. Examples for how you can use this. You've got a universal alarm system. I very much appreciate the inclusion of a piece of pie here. That's probably what I would want to protect, honestly. Uh, so you put a magnet on your piece of pie, and then if someone tries to move it around away from your Suricom kit, then they're caught in the act. You can make a siren go off. You can make it text you, and they're then you can rain down fury and uh, yes, fury and other things <laughs> upon uh, whoever dared to mess with your Pi. Asset tracking with the GPS module. You've got just simply hook up a button in order to make a sort of internet button, you know, like Amazon's old, uh, you know, dash button type things. But you can make it with any kind of other sensors and things attached as well. And you can connect it to any network, especially the Soracom one, which has all this lovely uh, informational tracking. So for example, you could uh, make a button that you push under certain circumstances, like every time I do a set of squats or something during the day. And then at the end of the day, you could look and you could see over the last few weeks how many times you've done squats uh, and track your progress there. Environmental monitor, uh, you could monitor, monitor the temperature and humidity in uh, whatever space you're trying to manage, whether that's houseplants that you're trying not to kill or your sourdough uh, quarantine project or whatever. All kinds of options for this one as well. What can I do beyond the kit? You can hook up literally anything! <laughs> I know it's easy to say, but for a few examples, I thought I would pull out my uh, existing box of Grove magic. So let's take a look. We've got a little LCD character monitor. So this is, as uh, I think it's two by 16, two rows by 16 characters of information that you can have it pipe out to this little screen. This has an RGB backlight as well. Very nice. You could, this is also a buzzer. <laughs> There's servos. You could have um, your kit trigger a servo activity with Arduino. Very easy. Relays. Have it turn a lamp on and off, depending on some kind of signal uh, sent over cellular. A potentiometer. Uh, this is another input. So you could uh, do a similar visualization to what we were talking about with the button, uh, where you like 
set the dial to a different value depending on whether you're at home or uh, at sea or <laughs> at school <laughs> um, and uh, have that report to an online dashboard. See how often you, mm, I don't know, you can have it like rotate based on how many times you've taken the dog out today. I don't know, who knows? Oh, there's also rotary encoders. If you just want to be able to crank something arbitrarily up and down and track that. Anyway, those are only a few of the Grove modules. There's a dizzying array of them available through Seed Studio, and you should totally check them out. There's uh, so many options. There's even uh, the Adafruit Stemma QT line, and there is also the SparkFun Quick line, and there are adapters to allow you to uh, interchangeably use those systems with the Seed Grove modules as well. Very cool. Hugo says, you can tell that they've put a lot of work into thought into this. I think so too. Um, you know, sometimes things release and it's just like, here's a thing. And you're like, how do I think? What will I think? And they're like, oh, figure it out. Anything is possible. <laughs> and yes, but having plenty of code examples, having it available in a commonly usable manner, having it be Arduino, having beautiful getting started guides, Everything here is sort of self-documented. It has a link to the getting started guide right on the uh, box and also using very commonly uh, used available modules such as this Arduino board and the Grove modules, which you know there's eight bajillion tutorials already on the internet uh, about how to use these things. So it's very good. Aha, Harvest is the API to collect data. And then Lagoon lets you make visuals. Thank you, Mohib. <laughs> swag gives you swagger. It's true. Uh, these socks will make my robot have a lot of swagger. I need to make like an octopus robot so it can wear four pairs of socks at once. Or just four pairs of hackster socks. <laughs> anyway, maybe next Maker Fair. So let's see. We've got this box with the grove. I love these grove things because they look like snacks. They come in these little like snack containers and maybe it's because I haven't even eaten dinner yet. But um, the way that this ultrasonic range sensor is going, it kind of makes me want a snack right now. Maybe some uh, like a sweet bun or something. So with the ultrasonic range finder, this wasn't included in the what you can build with it. But you know, things like little robots, you can have a little cell cellular controlled robot or a little robot that like runs around and uh, tries to follow the sunlight with a plant on its back. And then, um, you know, maybe you can track where it is, if it's outdoors or um, inside. Either way, you can use the range finder to make sure that it's not going to bump into stuff. Or you can point it at the ground and make sure that it's not about to go over an edge. Those are both really useful uses of ultrasonic range finders. There's also things like proximity sensors where you could have it sense whenever someone goes through a doorway, for example, and then it would pipe that up to the internet as well. Good stuff. So uh, that is the Soracom IoT starter kit uh, from Soracom. Very excited. The uh, I have a fondness for this company because Sora means sky in Japanese, and I think that's a pretty name <laughs> for a cellular company especially. So check this out. Uh, we've put all the links in the description below as always. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you soon. Hack on.